peaceful transfer of power in Mogadishu. Hassan Sheikh Mohamud, on the left, is president of Somalia for the second time. It's hoped his appointment will draw a line under a political crisis that's lasted well over a year. Today is a historic day that we should always remember. The outgoing president handed the office over to me peacefully. I request all Somali people, wherever they are, to support me. But he wasn't elected by Somalia's 16 million people, not even close. A popular vote was considered impossible due to widespread insecurity. So the president was selected by just 328 lawmakers, who were themselves chosen by clan representatives. The entire process was characterised by backroom deals, vote buying and corruption. It took place in Mogadishu's reinforced green zone, far removed from the lives of most Somalis. A severe drought across the country has led to hunger and hardship. The UN has repeatedly warned of a human catastrophe. Unless we scale up and step up our response, unfortunately, many, many people, including uh, at least at least 330,000 children, will perish before the end of the month of June. The UN itself has been targeted in Somalia. This was the aftermath of a fatal Al-Shabaab attack on a UN convoy in November. The terror group has been fighting Somalia's central government for years, seeking to take power itself. It withdrew from the capital in 2012, but still carries out sporadic attacks and holds territory in the countryside. Somalia's security situation has been fragile since civil war broke out in 1991, when warlords overthrew a dictator, then turned on each other. Mohamud will need to fix damage inflicted by months of political infighting. But his own election isn't the result of a one-person, one-vote poll, something that's left him facing a trust deficit. The test will be how he reconciles the social power of the clan system with a democratic future for Somalia. Claire Herriot, TRT World.